first rule, subjects and verbs must agree in number. When the subject is singular, the verb should also be singular. For example, the dog growls when he is angry. The dogs growl when they are angry. Second rule, don't get confused by the words that come between the subject and verb. They do not affect agreement. For example, the dog who is chewing on my jeans is usually very good. Rule number three. Prepositional phrases between the subject and verb usually do not affect agreement. The colors of the rainbow are beautiful. Rule number four. When sentences start with there or here, the subject will always be placed after the verb, so care needs to be taken to identify it correctly. There is a problem with the balance sheet. Here are the papers you requested. Rule number five. Subjects don't always come before verbs and questions. Make sure you accurately identify the subject before deciding on the proper verb form to use. For example, does Lefty usually eat grass? Where are the pieces of this puzzle? Rule number 6. If two objects are joined by end, they typically require a plural verb form. For example, the cow and the pig are jumping over the moon. Rule number 7. The verb is singular if the two subjects separated by end refer to the same person or thing. For example, red beans and rice is my mom's favorite dish. Rule number 8. If one of the words each, every, or no comes before the subject, the verb is singular. For example, no smoking or drinking is allowed. Every man and woman is required to check in. Rule number 9. If the subjects are both singular and are connected by the words or, nor, neither, either. For example, Jessica or Christian is to blame for the accident. Rule number 10. The only time when the object of the preposition factors into the decision of plural or singular verb forms is when noun and pronoun subjects like some, half, none, more, all, etc. are followed by a prepositional phrase. In this For example, all of the chicken is gone. All of the chickens are gone. Rule number 11. The singular verb form is usually used for units of measurement or time. Four quarts of oil was required to get the call running. Rule number 12. If the subjects are both plural and are connected... Dogs and cats are both available at the pound. Rule number 13. If one subject is... Either the bears or the lion has escaped from the zoo. Neither the lion nor the bears have escaped from the zoo. Rule number 14. Indefinite pronouns typically take singular verbs. Rule number Everybody 15. wants to be loved. Except for the pronouns few, many, several, both, all, some, that always take the plural. Few were left alive after the flood. Rule number 16. If two infinitives are separated by end, they take the plural form of the verb. To walk and to chew gum require great skill. Rule number 17. When gerunds are used as the subject of a sentence, 
they take the singular verb for of the verb. But when they are linked by end, they take the plural form. Standing in the water was a bad idea. Swimming in the ocean and playing drums are my hobbies. Rule number 18. Collective nouns like herd, senate, class, crowd, etc. usually take a singular verb form. The herd is the stampeding. Rule number 19. Titles of books, movies, novels, etc. are treated as singular and take a singular verb. The Burbs is a movie starring Tom Hanks. Rule number 20. Final rule. Remember, only the subject affects the verb. Using Powtoon.